All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises and glories to Kwahallah, Yahweh, Bashim Yasha, Bashim Kwakudash. Double honor said, Apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Yakim out there on the highways and byways. Noise in this road abroad all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yasha. And. And trouble on to you, feel sisters out there listening in silence. So, um, I'm just gonna land back off of Elder Apostle's Elder Apostle Gabar's video that he just that he did um, a few hours ago called Affliction. And um, we know that this is a part of, um, you know, we know that affliction is a part of being in this ministry. Is a part of this ministry that. You know, brothers, you know, ha have to go through, you know, because what it is, is that it's, um, it's a purification thing, you know, it's part of the process that we have to, um, go through being in this truth, you know, this is not something that is fun or whatever, so it's not going to be a thing of fun and pleasure, you know. It's going to be a thing of, you know, pain, suffering, and struggle, you know, which these other Israelite camps out there, you know, they don't teach, you know, you know, they don't teach um, the fact of you got to suffer in this thing, you know, they only teach the, um, the sweet of this, of this truth, you know. But there's a balance, you know, to um, to this truth. You know, there's the sweet as well as the bitter. You know, so you got the sweet on one hand, and then you got this, and you got the bitter on the other hand. You know, so it's a balance because the Most High ultimately deals with balance. Because the Scripture says in Proverbs chapter um, eleven, verse one, that a um, that a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. So. You know, the head apostles of GMS starting with the um the head apostles of GMS on down, this is what we teach. We teach the bitter as well as the sweet. You know, we don't just teach sweet, you know. But that's what that that's what most of the people wanna hear. You know, they don't wanna hear the bitter part of this truth. They don't wanna deal with the bitter part of, of the of the truth. Such as the afflictions that you gotta go through being in this truth. They 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 only like to deal with the sweet, you know. They wanna deal with smooth things. This is why the scripture says, unto the prophets, prophesy not to us right things, but unto us smooth things. Alright, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that real quick. And this is what these other Israelite camps do, you know, and this is why you they have a large um viewership, you know. These other Israelite camps out there, they have a large view viewership, you know. Then um, the head apostles of GMS, you know, you you wonder why um, the viewership of the head apostles of GMS on down, um, our viewerships are are not that are not that high, you know. Our viewerships are not in the tens of thousands and twenty thousands or whatever. You know, because, you know, most people, they like to hear the sweet things. They, they see the glamour. They see the, um, you know, the glamour things, and that's what attracts them. You know, that, that's what attracts them. But the words don't attract them because, really, you know, they're really not of the sheep. So real quick, this is Isaiah chapter um chapter thirty verse ten, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not to us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seed. 
you see so the, the, this is what the people like to hear you know they like to hear deceit they like to hear smooth things they like to hear things that make them feel better you know they like to hear things that give them a spiritual high so to say you know they don't like to hear the truth like the um the um the other side of this <laughs> They don't like to deal with the other side of the pillar, so to say, you know. They don't like to deal with the um the afflictions and the um and the hell that comes with being in this truth. You know. Because you gotta enter in at the straight gate. You gotta enter in and what did our Lord mean by the way of um entering in at the straight gate, you know? The word straight means a position of difficulty, you know. So when you go through that skate, um, straight gate, you know, you're going to encounter all kind of um, problems. Like, you know, you're going to catch all kind of afflictions, you know, all kind of hell that comes with it. But quite frankly, you know, the great majority of our people, they don't, they can't deal with that, you know. Even brothers that come in this thing, you know, a brother, he may come in this thing, he may last for a good, you know, three to five years or so to say. But normally in between the, um, in between the third, in between the third or sixth year, then, you know, normally a brother ends up falling out, you know. Because that's normally the time where the affliction starts, you know. Like, you know, the first year that you come in this thing, you know, the first year, the second year, you know, it's not too bad, you know. You know, still it's still kind of smooth, you know. But then when you, you get deeper into this truth, you know, you get deeper into it. That's why the scripture says um, in the in the book of Ecclesiastes that, you know, for much wisdom is um, coming from much sorrow, you know. So the more you grow in wisdom, the more sorrowful, you know what I'm saying, it becomes. You know, the more hell that you start catching. So, you know, once you start to grow and once you start to um, grow in this thing, you know, you start learning scriptures, you know, you start, you know, praying in the name of Yahweh, you start kind of rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, that's when... <laughs> That's when the, the um that's when the problems start, you know. That's when you start catching all them catching hell, you know. And that's how it be, you know. And normally that's the time like between like the um the third to um sixth year, you know, that you've been in this thing. That's the, that's normally the time that brothers fall like start falling out. Because you know that that affliction it gets it gets heavy, you know. You know it, it gets heavy, you know it gets hard. So um, let me just start off with the book of um, Psalms, chapter thirty-four, verse seventeen. So I'm gonna read: "The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of their affliction, of their trouble. The Lord is nigh unto them." that are of a broken heart and shever and saveth such as be a um comfort spirit it says many are the affliction of the righteous but the lord delivereth them but the lord delivereth him out of all out of them all you see so you're gonna get afflicted you know it's gonna seem like you know times to where you know that you may never get out of it, you know. But the thing is, you just got to keep trusting and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that he pull, pulls you through. And part of that is um, praying. You know, you got to pray that the Lord, you know, gets you, gets you through, you know, what you're going through. Because it's, it's, not, it's not an easy thing, you know. It's, it's not an easy thing to deal with. This is why you got to use the tools so to say to kind of get you by and one of the main tools that I always like to say is you know you gotta you gotta pray you know you gotta pray and that's how you get through it you know and in due time when the Lord sees fit to deliver you out of it then you know he'll deliver you out of it you know
know. But the but the main part of this thing is it's it's all a faith thing, you know, it's all a test. Because like I said, like I said before, you know, due to um post Passover that, you know, it's not it's not gonna be a skippity hop in the kingdom. You know, you're gonna, you know, we gotta go through what our Lord went through, because our Lord Yahweh Shai said that the servant is is not greater than the master. So if our Lord Yahweh Shai went through all kind of afflictions and went through afflictions, then you know, we're gonna go through the same thing. You know, we're gonna go through affliction too. You know, even though our Lord Yahweh Shai he paid. You know. He paid not only for, you know, his sins, but for our sins, too. You know, he paid for it. You know, he paid the way, you know, that we get connected back, you know, adopted back to our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, by way of sacrifice. That's how the, um, that's how the bridge, that's how the, um, the bridge was brought forth, you know. You know, that's what bridged us, you know, that's what connected us back to our Lord, um, our he the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, you know, by way of our Lord's death, you know, upon that cross, you know. But at the end of the day, that does, that that didn't um, exempt us from us, you know, going through affliction in these times. You know, we still got to, we, we still got to um, pay our part too. You know, we still got to pay our, our way, actually, you know, so to say. You know, <coughs> so like it to to be delivered. You know, so it's a, it's all a faith thing at the end of the day. It's all based upon faith. But you know, these these other camps they don't they don't really teach that, you know, because they want they want the smooth things. They want the you know it's no different than the Christian church. You know, here it is. You got the the pastor talking about you know smooth things you know oh you're gonna prosper oh you're gonna drive a new oh uh, mercedes s550 benz or whatever you know you're gonna be living in that nice house you're gonna get a big big mansion you know you're gonna have two mercedes you're gonna have a bentley a rolls royce and all of this madness you know these are the things that that our people mainly our people like to hear they like to hear about, oh, you're going to have a lot of money or oh, abundance, an abundance of money, you know? You know, these are all the smooth things that our people like to hear. They don't, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the fact that, you know, that you may have to die for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You may have to lay down your life. You know, they don't want to hear about the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, where Esau, he's coming down, having great wrath, you know, because he knows that he got but a short time. You know, he doesn't, want, you know, people don't want to hear these things, but these things are going to happen, all right? Because we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites from the, um, you, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, you know? Uh, we got a target on our back at the end of the day. We got a t we got a big fat target on our back. You know, and it's by way of this, you know, because going back to the womb of Jacob and Esau and in, in the womb, you know, the enmity that that's between us, you know. So you know, you Jakes out there, you got a big fat target on your back, and you're the target, and Esau is gonna come down upon you. Okay, because he knows that his time is short. He's know he knows that his time is limited. You know, these these are the things that we gotta warn you about. We gotta tell you about. But quite frankly, you you know when we're out there teaching and prophesying, you know, you shakes, you don't want to listen. You know, you don't want to take heed. You don't wanna, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to listen. You know, but these are the kind of afflictions that that's gonna come upon us. That's gonna come down. And um, mainly, you know, mainly brothers that are in this truth. You know, you're doing this work. Um, let, let me get that real quick. I don't want to make this video too long. All right. So well, then let's get um. You know, we bring the scripture out every time. 
and we can't bring it out enough though but you know but this just proves the afflictions that we have to go through you know us us um being men of the lord you know all right so this is ecclesiastes ecclesiasticus the book of sirach the second chapter in the first verse and then reads my son if thou cometh to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation set that heart up, set thy heart upright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble you see so you got to set your heart right and constantly endure you got to constantly end if this is a constant battle you know and make not haste in the time of trouble cleave unto him and depart not away that thou may have be increased at thy last end whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art ch are changed to a lower state you see so you got to be reduced to a low state you know so it's going to come a point in time you know you know your journey in this truth that you're going to be changed to a lower state you know you're going to be brought low you know, you know, things are going to be taken from you. You know, you may lose, you may lose your job. Like we, like we like to say, you know, like we say, you know, not like, but you know, it's not fun when you lose your job now, but that's, that's just the reality of, you know, that's just the reality of being in this knowledge to in this truth. You know, you may lose your job. You may, you, you know, you'll lose that woman. You know, your woman will start looking at you sideways. You know, then she'll end, she'll end up leaving you for another man. You know, um, you know, plenty of brothers been through been through that scenario. You know, plenty of brothers. You know, you may lose, you know, that that car. You know, your resources. You know, that car, your home. You know. And especially that money, you know. So that's what it means. Be, um, be patient when thou art changed to a lower state, you know. You're going to be in a lower state. You're going to be low, you know. Your life is going to change, you know. Things that w w was accessible, you know, that, you know, things that make you comfortable while you was in the world, you ain't going to have those things. You know, you ain't going to have your woman. You know, you may go through a season or seasons without a woman. You know, struggling, you know, the struggle. You know, but this is all a test for my Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So it reads, verse 5, For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So verse 6, it says, Believe in him, and he will help thee, order thy way upright, and trust in him. You see, so believe in him. Believe in Yahweh Bashim Yah. So like it, believe in Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. And trust in him. Verse nine, yea, that um, ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. You see, so, so wait for His mercy. So you gotta wait patiently. This is a thing of patience and long suffering. You know, you gotta wait for Him. You know, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. But if you don't wait, you're going to fall. It says, let me read that again. It says, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. So don't go, don't go wandering off. Don't go astray. Because once you start doing that, you're going to fall. And there have been many brothers, you know, that did that. Because they don't have the patience and they don't, they don't have the, um, the, the faith, you know, they ended up they ended up falling. They ended up falling out the truth and going back into the world because they didn't have the faith or the patience to to endure. You know. So verse eight. 
Yedef, um, Yedef feared the Lord, believe, believe, um, believe him. Yedef, oh, let me read that again. Yedef feared the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fear, um, fail. You see, so when you continue to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, your <coughs> your reward isn't gonna fail. You know. But it, it's all a matter of faith, though. You got to have the faith, because if you don't have the faith, then it's not going to work, you know. Because Scripture says, without faith, it's impossible to, um, in Hebrews, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. You know, so verse 9, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for um, everlasting joy and mercy. Verse 10, look, look at the generations of old and see that... Um, did ever any trust in the Lord and was um, confounded or did any aside abide in his fear and was forsaken and whom did he ever despise that call upon him verse 11 for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveness and forgive of sin and saveth in the time of affliction you see so the Lord saveth in the time of affliction. So eventually you're going to be saved out of it. You're going to be delivered out of it if you continue on the path of righteousness. If you continue to do what you need to do. You know, if you continue in the works, you know, you'll be delivered up out of it. You know, it's just, you know, all you got to do is just believe. You know, like I said earlier, you know, it may seem like, you know, that you may never get out of the situation that you're in, that you you may never get out of it. You know, it may seem like, you know, <laughs> you'll just suffer affliction forever, but no, it's not, no, it's not this thing. It's not always about suffering, suffering, suffering. You know, that's part of the process. Yes, it is. But, you know, you're not going to suffer forever, <laughs> you know. So eventually, you'll, you know, the Lord will deliver you up out of it in due time. You know, but it's just, you just got to have the faith. You know, you just got to continue to believe. You know, I myself, as I speak, as I make this video, you know, I'm being afflicted. You know, you know, I got to, you know, you know, I got to apply these pr principles, you know, right here that, that I'm reading, you know, the scriptures. You know, and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that he will deliver me out of this thing. You know, so you just got to have the faith and believe it and believe, you know. So, yeah, this is this is this is like the bitter part, you know, that nobody wants to hear, you know, the unpopular, you know, the unpleasant, you know, I did a video years ago called the unpleasant, you know. And this is this is what we have to go through. We have to um, face, you know, being in this truth. But just, um, but the key to surviving this thing is, you know, is faith and praying, you know. And if you read, let me just jump down f um, further down because the scriptures also say this too. It says, woe unto you that have lost patience and what ye shall do when the Lord shall visit you. You see, so what we'll want you that lost patience? Because this thing is all about patience and suffering. You know, you got you got to have patience in this thing. Because it's not gonna be an overnight thing where you you know you just get afflicted and the next day you know what I'm saying you, um, the Lord's gonna deliver you from it. You know, no. This thing is a constant thing. You know. You may not get delivered from this once you start getting afflicted you know you know it may seem forever at the end of the day but the thing is you know this is not a um this this thing is not an overnight thing you know it's not the lord is not gonna afflict you then the next day he's just gonna deliver you from the affliction and then you know it's back to normal again no you know it's a constant thing 
you know, this is why you got to have patience. It's a, it's a long-suffering thing. And it's a thing of patience and endurance, you know. So you just got to have that, you know, mentality, you know, when you come in this truth that you're going to suffer and that you're going to kick shell. But eventually, you know, in due time, the Lord will deliver you up, up out of it in due time, you know. You just don't know when that time will be, you know. So let's just, I'm gonna get one more scripture, then I'm gonna close the video. I don't wanna make it too long. So yeah, this is Second Corinthians chapter four verse seventeen. For for a light affliction, which is but a moment, work of uh, um work of for us, um far exceeding um far exceeding an eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen. But at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You see, so right now, you know, what we're seeing now is um, temporal, you know, like, you know, the, the, you know, what we're living in these carnal things, you know, our cars, you know, our job, you know, things that we see now, we're dealing with now, you know these people out here you know it's all temporal you know because at the end of the day we look forward to, we look for for a new heaven and a new earth what will of where dwelleth in will with will so like yeah it's again tongue twisted which dwelleth in righteousness you know, th that's what we're looking for. We're looking for new heavens and a new earth, with, which dwelleth in righteousness. You know, here this is not our home. You know, this is this is not our rest. You know, because eventually, you know, this this place, this this uh, um, America will be totally annihilated by a way of thermonuclear missiles. So well, we're looking for the things that are not seen, which is eternal, which is the kingdom. You know, that that's what we look forward to, you know, the kingdom of heaven. You know, not this place here, you know. And then, you know, when we get into the kingdom, you know, Lord's will we of the, you know, Lord's will of them, I'm of, I'm of that number, you know. Um, you know, when we get those new bodies, you know, and we're, and we're set up in our rightful place in the kingdom, you know, we're going to forget about all this shit. You know, we're going to forget about all the affliction and all the hell that we've, been, that we've been through, you know, overnight. You know, just like, you know, when the woman, when she, when she, um, when she goes through those traction pains. And then when she goes through the pain of giving birth to the baby. And when she finally gives birth to the baby, you know, and she sees the baby and she's holding that baby in her arms. She, you know, she she forgets about all the pain that she went through um, giving birth in the baby, you know. She forgets about all that pain. You know. Just like us, you know, as the hopeful elect, you know, once our Lord Yahweh Shai, he deliver, deliver us up from, you know, deliver us up out of here, you know, by way of the chariots. You know, our bodies get changed and we're set up in the kingdom we're gonna forget about all the shit that we went through on this side you know we're gonna forget about it we're gonna forget about our, our afflictions our health the hell that we caught all the pain that we went through you know being in being here in babylon you know so we're gonna forget about all of that you know but the key thing you know is you know in in enduring this affliction you just gotta um have the faith you just gotta 
have the faith and belief, you know. That's why it says in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, I believe, that faith is a substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen, you know, just like I read in the scripture right here. So, you know, we just got to have that, you know. But with that, you know, hope the lesson was edifying, you know, and just piggybacking off, not piggybacking, but land backing off of um, Elder Apostle Gabar's video, you know, Affliction, you know. So, giving all praises and glories due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Bashem Rekha Kadash, Shalom.